Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Transcend the Podcast. I'm, again, like always, excited to have you. Um, I missed a couple weeks, though, at the end of December from traveling, from COVID, from being tired and burnt out. So I apologize if you were looking for those episodes, but I will tell you I'm back and back on track now in January 2022. Um, I did get COVID. You can probably hear it a little bit in my voice. I'm negative now. Um, and the only symptoms that I still have are a little bit of congestion, but I've heard that that is going to stay for a while, might take a little while to clear up. So all that to say, um, I was moving and grooving and then this Omicron variant came out and uh, got you girl. So (laughs) all that again to say, just to be careful, um, protect yourself, make sure that you're safe and washing your hands and keeping distance and all that good stuff. Um, And yeah, just, just stay safe, stay safe and stay well. That is my wish for you. But enough about that and my little end of 2021 struggles. I want to talk to you about new the new year and new goals. Um, you know, obviously every year people say new year, new me, right? I almost titled this episode New Year, New Me, but I decided to call it New Year, Same Me because there's this sense of, and I usually do it too, that whatever I was doing the year before wasn't working, and now is the time to step my game up. And first of all, you don't have to wait until the new year to step your game up. But of course, it's an easy calendar switch. The season marks a new beginning, so I get it. But I'm going to challenge you today to think about what are the same things that you want to continue doing in 2022 that worked for you and brought you success in 2021. So instead of thinking about, you know, erasing everything you did or thinking that maybe 2021 wasn't good enough or having any kind of negative thoughts about it, I want you to reflect back and think about what worked really well for you and to continue doing those things. Sometimes that's more helpful than starting something new because you already have momentum with what you're doing. So the first part of it is to really take a step back and recap. What did you do in 2021? What were some of your wins and your successes? So 2021 for me, like a lot of people, was rough. My dad died at the end of December 2020. So I came into the new year feeling down and just like lack of energy, just that whole grieving process, right? But I had promised myself months before that I was going to launch my membership community, Transcend. And I said I was going to do it in January. I pushed it back because I needed a little bit more time and ended up launching in March. And that is one of the things that I am the most proud of in 2021 is launching. uh, This is called Transcend the Podcast. There's Transcend the Membership, which is a community for black and brown entrepreneurs looking to build a business and leave a financial legacy. So I'm really, really proud of that. Really proud of all the members who have come through all the other advisors who have jumped in to do workshops for the group. Like, This was an idea and I made it actually come to life. And I don't know any other attorneys who are um, providing legal education in the way that I'm doing. There are a lot of coaches that are out there, but I don't know anybody that's doing that bridge of business and legal um, and then financial also, that is the unique trifecta that you find within Transcend. So I'm really, really proud about that. The other thing I did was launch this podcast. This podcast launched in either May or June of 2021, and it was a, an idea. I'd launched a podcast before and did everything by myself. And of course, after like six episodes, I got burnt out. But this time I am working uh, with audio storytellers in Noelia, and she is absolutely awesome and keeping me on track. And I'm so excited to have this podcast. So that's another one. In June or May, I would say, I started experiencing these gut health issues, which I think were directly tied to just the emotional fallout from my dad dying in December and all of those emotions that I had held on for years because we didn't have the best relationship um, started to come to the surface. And actually, not so much the emotions coming to the surface, but I think the emotions sort of manifesting themselves in my body. So my digestion really slowed down. I gained about 10 pounds. Um, Certain foods that I had always eaten had caused breakouts on my face. And I was at a loss for work. I was like really going crazy 
excuse me, trying to figure out what to do because I have always worked out and exercised. Um, I'm not the healthiest eater, but I'm also not the worst eater by any means. I try and get, you know, a balanced diet, but I do like my wine and, and my Cuban rum here and there. I like those things. So not as disciplined as I would always want to be, but definitely way on the healthy side as opposed to the unhealthy side. And I was continuing to work out, continuing to eat healthy, doing my protein shakes, and I just couldn't figure it out. And I decided that I needed to take a break. I love to travel, love to work on my Spanish speaking skills. And so I picked Colombia. A friend was there and spent six weeks in Colombia um, in October, November, December. And then something happened at the end of that trip where it was like, I finally was just able to let down and let go. And so I was still traveling. So digestion is always a, a weird thing when you travel. Um, but I feel like now, like my body has finally calmed down. I'm starting to recognize the triggers. Like I woke up super early this morning, <clears throat> even last night when I went to bed, I didn't get up from my computer until like 7.30 or 8. And I knew that was too late for me because my brain wasn't going to slow down. And then I was reading this book with this action guy who is, you know, got to save the world. And I just felt so much stress in my body. I woke up this morning on my own at like five o'clock thinking, okay, what do I need to do? And it's only day two of the work week in, you know, the time that I'm recording this in 2022. But before I wouldn't have recognized that these things are triggers that then affect my gut health. But now I'm able to recognize that. And I really feel like I am back on track. So that's a win for me. A long story about that win. I also got to see two friends of mine get married in Kenya. Um, that was a beautiful wedding, a beautiful, beautiful Nigerian wedding, and also got to go on my second safari of my entire life in Kenya. Um, and also just really enjoying meeting with my community and transcend. And I want to continue to bring that forward. So when I'm looking at all of the things that I have done in 2021, some of the highlights, the things that I just shared with you. Now I'm thinking about what do I want to bring with me into 2022? There are definitely improvements that I want to make, but there are things that I want to continue to boost and support that I'm already doing, like Transcend, for example. I love working with my community inside Transcend so much that I don't want to do anything else. I don't want to do anything else. And I've been telling myself for a long time, you know, just focus on one thing, one offer, put your energy into that. And then when other opportunities come around, it's kind of hard to say no to those. But 2022, I am really committed to just working on Transcend and spreading the word about Transcend. I, I get so excited when I get to, excuse me, log in on Thursdays. And I don't get so excited when I have to form corporations and nonprofits for folks. I wish I did, but I really, really love teaching and being and spending time with my community. So that is one thing that I'm going to bring into 2022. Another thing, another goal of mine for the first quarter is to bring on 15 new members in Transcend. So if you are interested in joining Transcend, definitely go to transcendthemembership.com and check it out and spread the word if you think that it would be good for your friends or your um, entrepreneurs in your circle. So 15 new members for the first quarter of 2022 is another goal of mine. And then also I want to create a marketing strategy that is simple and, and not just create, cause I've created strategies before, but to actually execute. My goal is to really get something that's like a well-oiled machine that sort of runs itself. So the content that I'm making on the podcast can turn into social media posts, can turn into emails, can turn into sales sequences, can turn into whatever else it needs to be to make life easier. So on one hand, I'm really trying to simplify simple marketing strategy that I can actually execute and saying no to everything that's not transcend and then bringing new members into the fold, into the community. So I'm curious to know, what are you going to bring with you into 2022? You could tell me your new goals if you want to. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But I mean, if you're anything like me, like I usually have like a list of 20 goals at the beginning of the year, a lot of them pretty lofty, most of them I hit, but I'm so critical of myself for the ones that I don't hit. And that's actually another win. I started being less critical of myself in 2022 um, for, the, for the shortcomings that I think that I have. And then also 
for when I decide that I need to rest. I'm able to getting better at resting and not feeling like I'm supposed to or should be doing something else. Now, again, we're only in the first week of 2022, but that is my goal to keep being less critical and to keep giving myself, my brain and my body more guilt-free rest. So I want to know what you are going to be doing in 2022. What are you bringing with you? So go on to Instagram and find my account, Asha Wilkerson ESQ. And under the assets or the postings for this podcast episode, definitely drop a line and let me know what your goals are for 2022. And let me know if I can help you or how I can help you. I'm sure I can, but let me know what you need. All right. Don't forget to check out transcendthemembership.com if you are interested in working with me and joining the community. And I will uh, talk to you next week.